that is so good. What are these cubes? It's actually breaking my brain a little bit. <laughs> Hey, what's up everybody? It's your girl Merle and today we're going to be doing another ranking video where I eat a lot of food, vegan food, in one day and I rank them on the SABCD scale. We have a lot of fun, let's face it. I, I also, also tend, tend to, to feel, feel progressively, progressively Ill, Ill as the day goes on. But that doesn't mean that I rank later foods worse than earlier foods. Let's just get that straight. So today we're gonna be ranking vegan pizzas. My friend Justin specifically requested this one. So Justin, this one's for you. For those of you who may be new to my ranking videos, I've done a few of them already. Welcome, they're a lot of fun. I'm pretty brutally honest, I do my best. I'm not here to tear down vegan brands. I'm here to have fun. I'm very excited to get into this video. It's, it's gonna, gonna be, be a lot of vegan pizzas. <laughs> oh God. If you don't know about the ranking system, basically S is like fantastic pizza. We love this pizza. This pizza rocks. A is like really good. I'm gonna add that to my rotation. B is like good. Good job, honey. Like you did good. C is like, eh, okay. I probably won't eat this again. D is no. I don't like that. I don't trust it. So I'm gonna rank these as I go along. And then we're gonna have the morning after ranking, which is like after I've tasted everything, after, you know, after I'm out of the heat of the moment, the passion, I'm, after I'm done being blinded by hormones and and hunger, then I need to take a clear look at who is lying next to me in bed. I'm not big into astrology personally, but the thing that rings the most true to me about being a Libra is how indecisive I am. It's harder than it should be. I got multiple versions of some of the same brands. I don't know how much, I have a lot of pizza. If you saw my freezer, oh, I wore my stretchy pants today because it's gonna be one of those days. You know what I mean? So let's have some fun. Let's eat. I'm actually pretty hungry, so let's eat. All right, so first up we've got Blackbird Pizza. I'm just gonna say it. My name means Blackbird in French. <gasps> yeah, yes, I know. The Blackbird Kale and Mushroom Pizza is $72 for six pizzas online. It's 86 cents per ounce, $12 per pizza. The Kale and Mushroom Pizza has three servings. Sodium is, and this broke my heart, 102%. It's six pizzas for $72, and that equals $12 a pizza. I know that's probably a bit on the higher end. That's expensive. So it's definitely on the higher end of our ranking here, but I wanna include small businesses too, because I still wanna bring small businesses up. That said, let's taste test and see how this all falls into play. These both look really good. These look fancy, you know? Like the crust is legit. The crust goes a long way for the appearance of this because most, I feel like a lot of vegan pizzas are kind of flat. These ones look like they came to play. They took a long time to get ready before they came to the party. And the cool thing is, is that you can get Blackbird's pizzas in store or you can order them online. And let me just say one thing, no pizzas are gonna be wasted in the making of this video. If I don't finish a whole pizza, I'm not just throwing things away, unless it's really bad, and then I will. So I got one here that's their Supreme with their own seitan on top of it. It's very, very, like the sodium levels are alarming. And I got one here that is the Margarita. They have a bunch of different pizza flavors. I can't try all of them because I won't survive. And honestly, the things I'm looking to judge here are the crust, you know, is the crust good? Is it crisp? The cheese and the sauce, and then toppings if they have them. I'm gonna try their Tuscan one here first. This is tomato, cheese, and I believe that's kale on top. Mm. Ooh! Whoa. Mm. That is so freaking good. That is so good. The cheese is nice and melty. The sauce is nice and sweet. The crust is so crunchy, but soft in the middle. It's like doughy. It doesn't feel like it was ever frozen, which I think is incredible. I'm just so impressed that they are able to get the bottom of this crunchy. So this one has their own shredded seitan on top, and then it has, I believe, caramelized onions. Look inside that crust. This is almost a perfect frozen vegan pizza. I wanna eat all of this right now. Like if I have friends over and like, I wanted to have a pizza night. Non-vegan, vegan, everyone would love this. I already know. Definitely would recommend them. I'm gonna give them an S. This is like what all frozen vegan pizzas should aspire to be. Fantastic. And the homemade seitan on this is scrumptious. 
I just need a moment with the blackberry pizza. I'm forcing myself to step away. Don't forget to drink some water, everyone. I know I will be because I'm gonna be a sodium bomb by the end of this. I saw a lot of people commenting about the fact that there's a lot of sodium in vegan chicken nuggets when I did my vegan chicken nugget ranking. I don't recommend people eating any of these, any frozen vegan pizza or non-vegan pizza every day. It's a treat. This is not a health item. Let's just get that straight. I'm gonna have that in the top of mind when I'm looking at these as well. So next up, we've got Amy's. Amy's was one of the top requested. I've got three different kinds. These all cost $8.99. Amy's was one of my most requested pizzas, frozen pizzas, when I, I did a little shout out on my Instagram. Follow me on Instagram. So let's try Amy's vegan pizza. I certainly have not had all of these. You guys were telling me, I also read this in the comments. See, I really do pay attention. You were saying I should calculate weight by ounce, which makes sense now. So for these Amy's pizzas, they're around 64 cents per ounce. We're gonna start with the margarita because that's like the baseline pizza. It's 77% sodium for the entire pizza and 17 grams of protein. So looking pretty good. Okay, Amy, I see what you got up your sleeve. Let's try the margarita first. You look pretty good, I can't lie. I like the amount of sauce I see on this. Mm. The bottom of this is also crispy. I like this, that is really good. I'm a big fan of the like roasted tomato sauce they have. You know what, this is uh, this surprised me. Like you taste the sauce more than anything else. It's got a really nice crunch. I really like that. I would keep eating that. That's like an elevated frozen pizza. That's very good. And it's $4 less than the Blackbird pizza. I'm close to actually putting this one in S. The sauce is honestly winning me over. I'm a saucy lady. I'm gonna give it an A. A plus. Let me try the other ones first. Let me try the other ones first. The cheeseless pizza somehow still had 71% sodium, 21 grams of protein, three servings per box. This one, I'm less impressed. It's kind of like a, it's kind of like a flatbread. I don't know. It's a little blah. I'm gonna give it a B. It's not great. It's not bad. I might even give it a, C. no, I won't give it a C. Oh, I don't know if I paid $9 for this, which I did. Are you good? There's like very little flavor to this, honestly. The crust is the only good thing about this pizza. The pieces of roasted pepper and artichoke are so tiny, teeny tiny. All right, let's do the Supreme. 87% sodium, 24 grams of protein, three servings. Hmm. Whoa, whoa. There's little pieces of seitan and vegan sausage, but they look very dry. It doesn't taste like much. Very vague flavor in the fake meat. Compared to the Blackbird pizza, where it was like handmade seitan, this does not stack up. Honestly, I would rather just go with the margarita. For now, I'm gonna give the Amy's margarita an A plus. I'm gonna give the Supreme a B, and then I'm gonna give the cheeseless a C. I don't know what, what went wrong there. <laughs> Next up, we have Quill I've never heard of Quoquo before. I got these at Sprouts. They came requested by y'all. So we've got a margarita pizza here, and then I've got the Tuscan, because my thought was I'll do one with tomato sauce and then a white pizza, because that's a good way to test the range of the brand. Let's cook these bad boys up. While I was baking these, there's a heartfelt story on the back about Chloe Hinnenkamp, who has a condition that causes a life-threatening allergic reaction to everyday foods. So her parents undertook a journey to make foods that would bring a sense of normalcy to Chloe's life. I like that. That's a nice story. I'm not gonna let it get in the way of my integrity as a judge. And I gotta say, Clo Clo looked real good coming out of the frozen box, which hardly ever happens. So this one's gluten-free as well. Clo Clo was $10.49. That makes it around 96 cents per ounce. And the Tuscan one is $1 per ounce. So, so far that is the most expensive per ounce that we've had. I'm gonna try the margarita one first. 67% sodium, seven grams of protein, and two servings. Okay. I like that they use two different kinds of cheeses. The margarita is missing the sauce element that I love. Now the crust is gluten-free, so that's already harder. I don't love it. I don't wanna let Clo Clo down. One whole pizza is 80% uh, of your daily sodium intake. Nothing new. It's not just this one, it's any one. I'm not gonna lie, I don't love the crust. I don't love the crust. Chloe, you're so cute and you deserve everything in this world. I don't like the crust, okay? That's the truth. I like the toppings and it's a little expensive. Let me try this one. It 
are these cubes? Are those artichokes? See these little cubies? I thought this was potatoes, but this is an artichoke. It doesn't fully taste like an artichoke, but it is. All right, I gotta be brutal. I gotta be brutal. Coco, it's not that I don't love you because I do. It's because you have a gluten-free pizza and crust is one of the criteria and cauliflower crust notoriously doesn't do it for me. I think what I'm gonna have to do at some point is do a fully gluten-free episode. Today you're up against everyone else. You were requested, so I gotta rank you. I'm gonna say the Cloclo Margarita is a B. It's good. The crust isn't my favorite, but I like the two cheese blend. I could do with some more sauce. You know, I can see that there's quality there. With the Tuscan, oh, I don't know, man. There's not a lot of flavor here. I'm tempted to give it a D, I can't lie. It's not great, it's more expensive. Oh, do I give it a C or do I give it a D? What do I do? You make the choice for me, I'm a Libra, I can't do this alone. I gotta give it a D, I don't like it, I'm sorry. I gave the other one a B, the crust is not it for me. It doesn't have a ton of flavor, the veggies don't have a ton of flavor. Close case, end, over. Ooh. I'm gonna drink some water, maybe run a couple laps around the building, and then we're gonna go on to the next one. All right, so this next one is one that my very, very, very beautiful, dear best friend, April, introduced me to, and it's this American flatbread. This one, I'm very impressed. I have to say it gets extra marks because this one is like the only one that has below 50% of your daily intake of sodium if you eat the whole thing. It's just health-wise overall, it's better for you than a lot of these other ones. It was 56% sodium and 12 grams of protein. Just pointing it out, because it's a win column for this one. It looks beautiful, I gotta say. It's a nice flat, thin crust. So this one seems to be a little bit more of like the health option. This one is $7.99 and it's 78 cents per ounce. So also a pretty reasonable, let's try it. Right off the bat, I will say it's not as like crispy on the bottom. Then again, it has a window of five to eight minutes to cook and I did six minutes. So you could probably crisp it up more if that's what you want. This one's very cheesy. Okay, there's the crunch. I think next time I make this, I would leave it in for eight minutes. The crust is really nice and crispy and crunchy and tasty. A lot of cheese, not as much tomato sauce as I would prefer, but honestly, it also kind of reminds me of flatbread because it's so flat. I really like this actually. I like this and I like the fact that it has so much less sodium in it. Okay, see, this is one of those ones that I keep eating. I really like this one because it, it's like, it's a solid snack. I wonder if I'd want more food after I finish this. This one you could kind of dress up too and like put other toppings on like any other veggies you might like. I'm trying to decide if I want to give it good or great. I also think if you just didn't cut this in pizza slices and you served it as flatbreads, non-vegan people would be very happy eating this. Oh, see, but I'm doing the thing where I keep eating it without trying to. Oh, this is hard. I'm gonna, oh, I like that it's a little healthier. The difference between a B and an A with this would be how long it's in the oven. I think it's a solid A. I'm gonna keep it an A. I like this one. I like the American flatbread. It feels like an, a little bit of an elevated vegan pizza, kind of a flatbread feel. Good job, American flatbread. That was, that's tasty. On to the next. Okay, we have a situation here where I'm supposed to try this Trader Joe's pizza, but it looks like it was like sideways and all of the toppings <laughs> went to one side. This pizza is a little lopsy, lopsided. But that's not my fault. It came to me this way. This is the vegan meatless meat eaters pizza and it was recommended by the staff, it said, at Trader Joe's. And by you guys, you guys requested this one as well. I wanna do like a whole Trader Joe's vegan food haul at some point. Today we're just trying the pizza. I've never had this one. Looks like thick, thick slices of pepperoni and the sausage, seitan, whatever they have on top, looks like it's got some life to it. Doesn't look dry and sad and tired. Okay, so this one's right back to the sodium. 78% of your daily intake of sodium for the full pizza. But this one cost $5.99 and that's 50 cents per ounce. So that's decent. Rice brain oil? I'm sorry, what? What's rice brain oil? Is that a typo or do rice have brains? I'm impressed with the thickness of the pepperoni. So far it's a pretty looking penis. I mean, <laughs> why did that come to my mouth? Okay, this is my side. That's the side I give to my guest.
Ooh. Okay. I like the pepperoni. It would normally have half the amount of toppings because all of the toppings are on one side. I like the sausage better than the pepperoni, actually. Pepperoni is a little odd. Not terrible, though. This is delicious. And the price is very good. The crust is nothing special, really. It does have a nice crisp to it, but it's kind of flavorless. I might have to give this one an A. Oh, the crust, though. This is the hardest ranking I've done yet because a lot of these pizzas are good in different ways. It's actually breaking my brain a little bit. <laughs> Oh, I'm not a teacher who gives away A's easy. I'm not an easy A, but today, maybe I am a little bit, eh? For now, I'm putting it in A, but I can move it whenever I want. Okay, before I change my mind, on to the next. In the moon, it's your eye, I could be pizza diet. Okay, so this next one is Sweet Earth. It's a big one. It's got like the whole damn farmer's market on top of this pizza. Ooh, baby. Oh, but the crust looks so weird. Oh no, no, no. This looks like a toy. No, this can't be right. I'm sorry, this does not look the same. <laughs> this crust and this crust. What the heck? Okay, well, I don't know, man. I'm a little suspicious, but I'm gonna try to like keep a positive outlook. But this looks like a straight up easy bake oven pizza. This one takes the longest to cook, so get cozy, I guess. This one is $8.60, which makes it 56 cents per ounce. And the sodium levels are right back up in the 70s for the whole pizza. Guys, the veggies on top look fresh as hell, but the crust, it looks crusty. It looks creepy and it looks... I'm not feeling good about this. Dude, the freaking the crust looks like the cardboard that it came on. I'm not even kidding you. I took a, I took a minute to double check, but I didn't just cook the cardboard. Shall we try it? Let's try it. Okay. I figured out what the crust is reminding me of. It reminds me of Lunchables pizza. You remember those like undercooked, uncooked like discs? It's a big pizza. You get a lot of food. It seems like a healthier option. Still a lot of sodium, but it seems like it's packed with fiber, a lot of fresh vegetables, and I can tell they're fresh. This one's either gonna be good or fine. So it's gonna be either B or C. It's weird, because the veggies taste good and the cheese is nice. There's not a lot of sauce. Honestly, I might give it a C. Cause it's like they didn't even distribute the freaking sauce to the edges. I'm just kind of surprised that they like went so 100% with the vegetables and then they skimped so hard on the crust. I'm gonna give it a B because the vegetables are fresh, which gives it a nice flavor. It's gonna be a low B. I'm gonna have to wait till the morning after ranking at the end. The middle part of it where there's a lot of sauce and veggies is pretty tasty. The crust is not good. Now we just have our Daya pizzas to do. My freaking be still my beating stomach. We've gotten through this, everyone. This is the last one. Let's do it. Oh, by the way, before you say, where's the Whole Foods pizza? What about Whole Foods pizza? I tried and tried to find Whole Foods pizza. They were out. I went to the Whole Foods three different times. I went to two locations and there was none. So you'll just have to wait till I do a ranking of like all of Whole Foods vegan things. Okay. So I have three different diet pizzas here. Diet was by far the most recommended by you guys, but today I've got the Daya's cheese, and it's got two different kinds of cheese. I've got the Supreme one, which has sausage and pepper and mushrooms. And then lastly, their Meat Lovers pizza. They look good, they look really loaded up. These ones are vegan and gluten-free. Cheesy one looks good, I can't lie. Ooh, you're a naughty little pizza, aren't you? The gluten-free crust, I'm not a fan. It's crispy, but that's it. But the cheese and the sauce, are very good. I like that. Like the sheer amount of cheese they put on this is fantastic. They're all $8.99, no matter like which kind you get. This would definitely fill you up. I'm very impressed with how melty the cheese is. Okay, way higher in calories. It's fine if you don't count calories, so we're just looking at this as a whole, the whole picture. And with that, the sodium levels have lingered around 78 to 81% for a whole pizza. This one is 1200 calories and it's around 93% of your daily intake of sodium. That's significant. <laughs> Let me try the Supreme. But again, we're not eating pizza to be healthy here. Certainly not frozen pizza. Hmm, that's pretty good. It's not like crazy, 
but it's good. When it comes to like the crumbles, they're a little dry. They're salty. <laughs> I'm, the cheese one is gonna be my favorite, I think, just cause there's so much vegan cheese on this. Like the amount of sodium though, I don't know. I guess let me know. Please let me know in the comments, like should I just like ignore, should I just mention the health facts and then just tell you like how it tastes based on flavor? You know what I mean? Like it's too complicated to try to juggle everything. Cause realistically this tastes very good and the price of it's pretty good. But the health factor of it is kind of terrifying, but also not the end of the world. Okay, this pizza is unsturdy. This crust sucks. The crust sucks. It doesn't hold up at all. So this is the meat lovers one. This is the last one. Let me just try this pepperoni on its own, see if it's better than the Trader Joe's one. It's less soft than the Trader Joe's one. It tastes like leather. I haven't eaten leather, but it tastes like what leather smells like. And I like the smell of leather, but I wouldn't want to eat it. I don't like the texture that much either. Yeah, the Supreme is good. Meat lovers, C, almost a D, but I'll give it a C. I'm between an A and a B. For flavor, I'll give this an A, because it tastes good. I really like the taste of it, the cheese lovers. Health things aside, the cheese lover one has good flavor, other than the crust. This isn't easy, guys. This is not easy, trust me. And my brain is fried from all the sodium I've taken in today. Let's just wrap this up. Let's get all of our thoughts together. Let's do our morning after list. It's dark out now. We're gonna do the morning after ranking, AKA now that I've eaten everything, I'm gonna go back through the list and just double check, make sure there's nothing I wanna change my mind on now that I've, you know, tasted a little bit of everything. I'll tell you the facts about these things, but mainly I need to be able to rank these by how they taste because otherwise it's just too confusing. If we look at the S tier, I want both of the Blackbird ones in there. I know they're more expensive, I get it. I know they still have a lot of sodium, but honestly, like I had to come to terms with the fact that I'm going off of mainly flavor here. Moving down the list, we've got the A tier, and in first place in the A tier, I'm gonna put the Amy's Margarita, because I like the like fire roasted tomato sauce it had. It felt a little fancy. Followed by the Trader Joe's meat lovers, or meat pizza, pepperoni pizza basically. I like the cheese they used and the pepperoni was actually pretty good. And the price of it was cheaper than every other pizza here. Good price, great taste. A. And then finally, the last one in the A tier is going to be the, the Diet Cheese Lovers Pizza. Because even though this one was like really junk foody, like this one's really not good for you. I love that they used two different kinds of cheese. They smothered it in cheese and it's gluten free. And then we're gonna actually move the American flatbread down to the B tier. April, I hope you aren't upset with me. I do like the crust and it does taste really good, but it's pretty thin. If you wanna have a pizza that's on the healthier side, I was really close to putting it in the A tier. So it's really like a B plus A minus. And then we have the Amy Supreme pizza. That was actually pretty good. I thought that their fake sausage was decent. And then the Clo Close gluten-free and vegan margarita. It's pretty good. The crust wasn't my favorite, but overall it tasted good. And then in the last place in the B tier is the Daya Supreme. Not bad, almost a C plus, but I'll keep, I'll keep it good. It was good, it was good. I won't buy it again, but it was fine. And then the C tier, I'm gonna keep the Sweet Earth Veggie. And then we go down to the Daya's Meat Lovers. I found out that it has like 128% of your daily intake of sodium, and I didn't like it that much. It didn't have much flavor, so no. And then followed by the Clo Clo Tuscan Pizza, which really didn't have any flavor. So with, in this case, neither of these had that much flavor, so I couldn't say they were terrible. It just didn't taste like much. And then in the F category, we have Amy's Cheeseless Pizza, cause that just wasn't really, I don't even know how they got away with that. There's no cheese. The teeniest little pieces of artichoke and pepper. It just didn't do it for me, it just didn't do it for me. This is like how I would rank the experience of eating these things. You can decide if it's worth for you to spend a little more or if it's worth for you to ingest a little more sodium. I'm sure you guys have lots of thoughts. Let me know what you agree with, what you disagree with, but at the end of the day, these are just my opinions. Take it with a grain of salt. We all have different needs when it comes to food and uh, vegan pizza, so you guys the best. Uh, join my Discord, follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Twitch, TikTok, any and all the things. And I hope you have a beautiful rest of your day. Thanks you guys so much, and we're out. It's time for me to go to bed. <laughs> Maybe take a bath and just chill out. <laughs>